But you know what my family has figured out? And the nation is beginning to figure out, Congress is beginning to figure out, equity costs money. Equity is really, really expensive. And you can't afford equity in the 21st century if you don't have economic success. And you can't have economic success unless you have relevant academic success. See, our schools aren't failing. Our schools are like this line. Every year, they're getting a little better. How many in the room knew we graduated a higher percentage of 18-year-olds last year than any year in our nation's history? And we did it despite the fact that those kids had more tests to take than any of you in this room even dreamed of having to take. And we did it despite the fact that our nation has become more diversified and with diversity a strength to a nation, but a challenge to schools. Ladies and gentlemen, that is American schools are getting better. So what's the problem? Why am I here? It's not because schools have uh, failed. It's because that's the world business and industry has to function in. That's the global economy. And ladies and gentlemen, other nations are going to hand this nation our lunch. Why? We got the shortest school day and the shortest school year in the industrialized world. You want to have a revolution in an American high school? Try to change a bell schedule, see what happens to you. Try to change the school calendar by two days. We'll have six committees over four months to discuss that momentous decision. If Rip Van Winkle woke up tomorrow morning, the one place in Starks County he would feel most comfortable would be in one of our schools. They are more like 1980 than unlike 1980. We gotta change not because schools are failing by traditional measures, we gotta change schools because we're preparing kids for a world that is fundamentally different. You know enough about me in general, professionally two things to know about me, I chair two national commissions. One, appointed four years ago to find the nation's highest performing schools. We've done that. More importantly, the second one. For the last 18 months, I've been chairing a commission to find the nation's most rapidly improving schools. And why is that important? Because every school can be rapidly improving, and that's what I have found in this county. While you have good schools, I have a sense you want to have great schools. Did anybody in the room ever re read the book by my friend Jim Collins, Good to Great? Got the same issue in American education. You got pretty good schools, and pretty good are the toughest to change.